In this video, we want to consider the graph of the function y equals sine of x. Now, some things we know about sine is that its domain is all real numbers, so its graph is going to cover the entire x-axis, but the function is also periodic. It repeats itself every 2 pi units along the x-axis. So if I can graph a single period, like if I can graph it from 0 to 2 pi, then I can just rubber stamp that and just stamp, stamp, stamp over and over again to get the entire graph. We also know that the range of sine is from negative 1 to 1, that the graph will never go past negative 1 and 1. The amplitude of the function is just going to be 1. So if we graph some points, we know about sine. So when the angle is 0, sine will be 0. If the angle is pi force, then sine will be square root of 2 over 2, which is about 0.7. So you kind of see that right here. You're going to be point, uh, y would be, the y corner would be 0.5 when angle is pi 6 there. At pi halves, sine is equal to 1, like so. At 3 pi force, it's again square root of 2 over 2. And at pi, it's returned to 0. So if we assume sine is a nice, smooth, continuous function, we can connect the dots and get a picture that looks like this, this little bump on the screen here. And then if we continue on, at x equals 5 pi fourths, sine is actually going to be negative square root of 2 over 2, about negative, points, uh, about negative 0.7 in that situation. So we get a point about right here. At 3 pi half, sine is going to equal negative 1. And then at 7 pi fourths, we also get negative root 2 over 2 again. And that 2 pi, it's going to repeat itself. So kind of connecting the dots, we get something that looks like the following. And so this here gives us a picture of a single period of a sine function. Let's switch over to a graphing character to get a more precise picture here. If we open up Desmos, we can see the, the following uh, points that we put on the screen a moment ago. So you'll see here 0, 0, pi force root 2 over 2, pi halves 1, 3 pi force root 2 over 2. Here is uh, pi 0. This point right here is going to be 5 pi force negative root 2 over 2. 3 pi halves negative 1. We have 7 pi force negative root 2 over 2 and 2 pi comma 0. So like we saw earlier, if we try to connect the dots, we're going to get a picture that looks something like the following. This is a single, a single period of our function. So we would anticipate that if we were to continue this thing on, we can kind of just replicate this picture over and over again, over and over again. We're going to get this sinusoidal wave that looks something like what we just drawn on the screen just now. Uh, let's take a look at what the computer thinks it should look like. We're going to get this picture right here, and that sure enough gives us what we were expecting. If we zoom out, the sinusoidal wave will just continue to repeat this pattern over and over and over again. We never exceed the value 1. We never get below negative 1 like we would expect there. And again, this graph will just repeat itself over and over and over again.